Now let us discuss here about conversion of CFG to PDA. So here CFG context free grammar is the input. So for the corresponding CFG, we need to find the PDA, push down odometer. In CFG, mainly our focus will be on the productions. So CFG means productions will be given. Productions will be given. Whereas in PDA, our focus will be mainly on transition functions, that is delta. So for the corresponding production rules, we need to find out the delta transition functions. So that is our target here. Let's see this example. Construct PDA for the grammar. So this is the context-free grammar. S implies AV. A implies 0, S or 0. B implies 1, S or 1, 1. So here in order to convert CFG into the PDA, we have to follow mainly two rules. The first rule is for the non-terminal. The second rule is for the terminals. So terminals means lower case letters. So 0, 1 or some symbols. A, B symbols, left parenthesis, right parenthesis, plus, plus minus, or it may contain lower, lower case letters, small a, small b. So terminals means either lower case letters or digits or some symbols. Okay. Various non-terminals means upper case letters. So let we have a production in the form a implies alpha. So a means left hand side, but various alpha means right hand side of the production. Then if your production is in this form, then we can write it as delta of q. q is the state epsilon comma a is equal to. Here we have to apply epsilon. So this a is nothing but that production left hand side non terminal is equal to q comma alpha. What is this alpha? This alpha is nothing but right, right hand side of the production. This q is nothing but that state. For the terminal, the rule is like this. If the terminal symbol is a, then we can write it as delta of q comma a comma a is equal to q comma epsilon. Suppose if the terminal symbol is plus, then we can write it as delta of q comma plus comma plus is equal to q comma epsilon. Simply we need to follow those two rules. So here we have one, for here we have two productions, three, for B we have two productions, five. So totally we have five productions are there. So for all the five productions, we have to write corresponding transition functions as well as we have two terminal symbols are there, 0 and 1. So for those two also we have to write the productions. So first let us consider the first two production. What is the first two production? S implies AB. Then we can write it as, for this production we can write it as delta of Q comma epsilon comma. So this A is nothing but left hand side of the production. S is equal to Q comma what is the right hand side of the production? A, B. So Q comma A, B. So this is the first function. So next one, A implies 0 S. So for this production, we can write as delta of Q comma epsilon comma. What is the left hand side of the production? A. A is equal to Q comma. What is the right hand side of the production? 0 S. Q comma 0 S. Next, for the next one, a implies 0. So we can write it as delta of delta of q comma epsilon comma. Only one state is enough. It may be q or q naught or q1, it is your choice. Epsilon a is equal to q comma 0. Next production, b implies 1s. So for space constraints, I am writing here. B implies 1s. So we can write it as delta of q comma epsilon comma b is equal to q comma 1s so 1s means right hand side of the production so last production b implies 1 so this can be written as delta of q comma epsilon comma what is the lhs here not in b is equal to so q comma 1 so 1 is nothing but right hand side production so for all the productions we have written the uh, corresponding transition functions. So A, B, 0, S, 0. So Q, Epsilon, Q, Epsilon, S, A, A, A. Next, Q, Q, Epsilon, B, B, 1, S, 1. Next, what are the terminal symbols here? 0, 1. So for 0, first let us write the uh, transition function for 0. So delta of Q, comma, 
जीरो इज द टेरमिनल सिंबल जीरो इज द टेरमिनल सिंबल इज इक्वल टू क्यू कामा वी हैव टू राइट एज एप्सिलॉन सो दिस इज द फॉर्मूला नेक्स्ट डेल्टा ऑफ क्यू कामा वन कामा वन इज द नेक्स्ट सिंबल इज इक्वल टू क्यू कामा एप्सिलॉन सो हियर कॉन्टेक्स फ्री ग्रामर इज गिवन सो फॉर द करस्पॉन्डिंग कॉन्टेक्स फ्री ग्रामर वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द पीरियड कॉन्टेक्स फ्री ग्रामर मींस मेनली ग्रामर प्रोडक्शंस विल बी गिवन so in pda mainly we have to find out the delta transition functions so these are the transition functions for the corresponding grammar so this is the pda for this grammar